Well, good morning, everyone. Let me add my welcome to that of Steve. Uh, it's great to see you all here uh, on this beautiful and slightly cooler day. So we've been led to believe. Uh, so Steve has told you who I am, just a little bit about the Woods Institute for those of you who are not familiar. Uh, we founded it 10 years ago. This will be our, our 10th year, which we're celebrating. And Lee Johnson's in the back. Lee, you can raise your hand. Employee number one. And still at Stanford and still smiling, which is the way we like it. Uh, the Woods Institute was founded to integrate across all the incredible environmental uh, and sustainability assets that we have at Stanford to provide a platform and a go-to place for finding solutions to the major environmental challenges that we face this century. And in 10 years, we're very proud of what we've achieved. Um, and one of the, uh, the obvious places where we would participate uh, is this affiliates program. And so I don't often get a chance to say this publicly, so I'd, I'd like to just embarrass Steve Aglash for about two seconds here. Uh, and just publicly acknowledge the incredible work that he's done in, um, in driving this environment and affiliates, uh, and energy affiliates program. I think it's, he puts in a remarkable amount of work. I think many of you know him, many of you have interacted with him. And so I'd just like to publicly acknowledge uh, Steve and Marjorie who have put this conference together. So let's acknowledge that. Thank you. So why this meeting? Uh, it's, it's interesting. Um, you know, I think a lot of people sort of ask, you know, what is big data? Uh, I, I find myself asking that all the time. When I first heard the term, uh, I'd, I'd never really thought about big data versus data. Uh, and then a good friend of mine, Jesse Fink, he gave me a book on big data. And just because it is big data, you get a big book. <laughs> so if you have big data, you have to have a big book. But if you haven't seen this book, it's a really great one. It's called The Human Face of Big Data. And uh, I don't get any uh, cut for it for encouraging, but it, it actually enabled me just to see exactly uh, what big data uh, was all about in terms of what it could do. I still can't define it. So I left that to uh, Dan Ariely. I don't know if you know, but Dan Ariely came up with, I think, the best uh, definition of big data that I can think of, and it goes like this. Big data is like teenage sex. Everybody talks about it. Nobody really knows how to do it. Everyone thinks everyone else is doing it, so everyone claims they're doing it. <laughs> That's about the best I've heard. But by the end of today, I am very confident that we can take Dan Ariely's definition, just set it aside, because we'll have a much better idea about what the big data is and how it's being done and what the potential is and what the applications are. And I think we'll be uh, in a lot better shape. And so uh, today we're gonna do a number of things. We're gonna have some talks, which will be good examples of applications. There'll be talks about the potential and, and sort of the science that goes behind big data. And I think Hector Garcia Molina, former chair of computer science, will be here a little later and tell you about the, the data science initiative at Stanford, and I know Margot Gerritsen in her talk will probably address some of sort of the theoretical or the, the uh, pedagogical aspects of, of what big data is and what it can, and can produce for us. So there will be a data science initiative uh, at Stanford. It, it'll probably be huge and big and have lots of application areas, including the medical area and energy and environment, uh, et cetera. And just to put a little bit of teeth into it, uh, Steve and I, uh, put our heads together, we found some initial funding. And so, just so you know, we will be, we have put out an RFP for proposals to uh, Stanford faculty on sensors and big data as they apply to the environment and energy. And so we're expecting some very exciting proposals. Part and parcel, I think, it's not just a, gonna be an academic exercise. I think part and parcel of what we do in the seed funding process is exactly that. It's a seed funding, but what we expect the PIs to do with that is to go out and find partners like yourselves who can then work together in real time on these problems and build a sort of larger ecosystem around this. So this is just to get it started. And so uh, this is not gonna be just for Stanford faculty. Hopefully it will involve many of you in some way, shape or form as, as this moves along. 
So we've announced the RFP. Hopefully, we'll get a number of excellent proposals by the end of June, and we can see what we can do to move this forward. So I think this is going to be a great day. I'm really excited uh, to learn more about uh, what everybody else is doing and what the potential is here.